Choosing to sit back and do nothing about climate change could reduce the output of the sugarcane industry by 12 per cent by 2030, 17 per cent by 2050. And the beef industry is estimated to decline 34 per cent by 2050. Queensland is especially vulnerable to climate change. Extreme weather conditions such as floods and droughts are expected to increase. But what Queenslanders don't expect is to be hit hard economically. Coral bleaching has the potential to overwhelm the tourism and fishing industries. The direct costs from the loss of the Great Barrier Reef as a major tourism attraction could cost the country close to $40 billion. This sort of change would have dramatic consequences for human health, for infrastructure, for energy requirements as well as for agricultural production. The Minister for Climate Change spoke at the Queensland University of Technology today, spruiking the merits of the Carbon Pollution Reduction Scheme. The government's policy is a responsible answer to the risk of climate change. If you um, pollute, there is a price. While some were glad the minister made the effort, not everyone was impressed by the speech. Some saying they'd heard it all before. It's great to have a logical, sensible cabinet minister who can come and talk in an academic situation and hold her own. And this Overall, it's a regurgitation of all facts. Carly Sinnott, QUT News.